Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a Detroit review video. Now I have previously done the demo Detroit review so I'm not going to say much more in this video than I already have in that one. I'm just going to go over a few things that obviously the story had and the full game had that the obviously the demo did not. So first off, the acting was fan-fucking-tastic. I loved every minute of it. It was really difficult to choose a favourite character because I enjoyed each and every one of them because they all brought a different kind of character to the table that I really enjoyed playing with. And you could relate to their sort of stories, their backstories, because obviously Marcus didn't have a very like difficult like life really. He was looking after an old man, and the old man was really nice and was trying to teach him to be better than humans. And then obviously we had Kara, who was had this sort of like mother role, and it was honestly like so breathtakingly beautiful. The Alice and Kara story has to be the the, the most touching out of all three characters and honestly you could feel every sort of emotion as, as soon as you went through the story and you just felt that connection between obviously Alice and Kara and it just kept growing and growing and growing and obviously there's a beautiful bit in the game later on sorry no spoilers but there's like a carousel and it honestly it's just so beautiful and obviously we had Connor uh, probably everyone's favorite character is Connor you know Connor army hashtag but honestly Connor was such a badass he was proper kicking ass in this game and you kind of felt for him a little bit because he was trying to do a job but at the other end he was trying to try not to get conflicted with having sort of different feelings and emotions like the deviants did so it was it was more of a struggle for him more than the other three to try and break out of the the cycle of being an android and you could really feel that in the game obviously those of you who know me soundtracks to a game are really big on my list for top quality games and obviously Detroit has a brilliant music score the whole game has amazing background music and it just it just gives it that sort of like ambient feel to the game where you kind of feel like you're there in 2038 in Detroit where obviously androids have they're not so much of a, a dream as it were they're, they're definitely more of a reality and part of life your aim is to become more human as a as an android do you know what I mean so it it just kind of captured all that and obviously it has all its um, environmental like graphics as well like so you know you got your heavy rain which I, I'm starting to think that Quanti Quantic Dream have a lot of them um, I don't know that like they tend to like rain because it's, it gives it that sort of atmosphere that something bad has happened or something bad is going to happen it just kind of sets the mood and it was basically like playing a film and it was absolutely brilliant. Obviously, I've only played it once, so I need to go through it again. And obviously, I'm going to get a different story this time from what I did this time. There's just so many options, so many ways to play the game. And obviously, you can kill off any three of the main characters at any time in the game. And what I'm going to do in my next playthrough is I'm going to kill them off and then see how we go from there. Like, how does the story continue from there? Just to see what happens and stuff like that. And obviously, you meet your characters throughout the game. I, on a side note, I just want to say that Lieutenant Anderson was a fucking amazing. Played by Clancy Brown. And the guy is a fucking god. He played Lieutenant Anderson really well. And you, you kind of felt bad for him because he was a bit of a, a jackass pretty much for the entire game but he had his reasons for that and obviously I'm not going to go into it because that's spoiling it but honestly it, go and play this game it is probably the best game I have ever played in ages it's definitely a game that I'm going to be going over and over and over completing it multiple times obviously it is quite difficult with other games coming out and obviously doing my youtube and streaming and stuff like this but i would highly recommend playing this game i would probably give this a nine and not a 9.5 out of 10 obviously i won't give it a 10 because no game is perfect but i definitely definitely really enjoyed this game it was so emotional like at the end i i, I almost cried on my stream because it was just it just touched me in places that I, i've not been touched before joking i've done i've been touched there before but um, we went to court about it and it, and it you know it, 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 yeah, anyway anyway <clears throat> the less of that we don't need to go into that so obviously thank you very much for watching this video if you did like this video please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and you'll never miss any of my videos comment down below what you thought of the game and your favorite character and why in the comment section down below and we can have a little discussion with that I do I do read all of my comments 
and I do try and reply to most of them, if not all of them. Anything you send me, I read straight away pretty much. So your guys' feedback is absolutely fantastic, so keep it coming. So thank you very much. Take care of yourself and others, and bye-bye for now.